Okay, the next query that I'd like to show you in Access is going to be a, a make table query. The reason that you use a make table query is the following. Uh, when we run a query, it's going to go back to the table and show you the results from that table um, that meet the criteria. But as records change in the table, the results in the query could change. So the reason you make a, a make table query is it, it takes kind of a snapshot at that p particular time. Uh, so you know you, you'll have you'll have uh, the, the what happened at that particular time. So maybe you have like an as of type of report, and you say as of this date, you know this is the current information. So let's make a make table query. I'm going to go in and make another query here. I'm going to pick on the uh, create menu and pick on query design. So I'm going to use the orders table. And uh, I'm just going to click on close here. Uh, we'll pick some fields. So I'm going to pick on the, uh, I'm double clicking on order ID, customer ID, the employee ID, the order date. And I'm going to scroll down to find the order amount. And then I want to see all of the records that were more than $500. So in the criteria row of the order amount, I want to type in greater than 500. Okay. Now, if I were to run this query, it's going to show me all of the records that were over $500. There's 617 records. Okay. Now, I want to make a good point here. If we go back to the table and add additional records, uh, that are over $500, then the next time that we run the query, we'll get a different result there. So what we want to do now is we want to uh, we want to go back into design view, and we want to kind of take a snapshot uh, and, and make a table out of that data, so that will be more static. So you come up here into the design tab and say uh, make table. That's what we're talking about. It's going to make a new table out of this query. So you give it a name. So I'm going to say orders greater than 500 as of uh, 117 2011. All right, so I'm being that specific with the name. So I'm going to click on OK. Now I'm going to run the query. It says you're about to pay 617 rows into a new table. Once you click yes, you can not use the undo command to reverse the changes. So um, I want you to look over here before I pick on yes. Notice there's not a table that, that's called uh, orders over $500 as of uh, 117. I want to pick on yes. Now notice how it just made this new table. Uh, orders greater than $500 as of uh, 117. So uh, I'm going to close this window. Now, whether I save this query or not, it doesn't really matter. That table is, has now been made. So I'm going to pick on yes to save it. And I'm going to call this one um, Now, probably what I do is when I go in to run that, that query each month, I would, I would probably change the name of the table it's going to make so that I would have, a, you know, as of January as of February and so on. But when I go into orders greater than $500, um, now that still has the 617 records as we can see. All right, so that should show up in just a second as far as the count goes. Yeah, we can see the count. Uh, well, let me go to the bottom record here. We can see it does have the 617 records. So even if the orders table changes now, this table will remain static. It's as of that date, and it'll remain static. And that's why you use a make table query.